Flooding was reported on some roads around Soweto last night following storms in Gauteng. The Johannesburg Emergency Services say some motorists were stranded along Klep Valley Road towards Nansfield Hostel. Joburg Emergency Management Services spokesperson Robert Muloaldi joins us on the line just to give us an, uh, an update on the latest with the storms around Gauteng. Robert, thanks very much for your time. Um, talk to us about any damage or potential road closures that we're seeing this morning. Good morning, Jack. Good to the viewers. Yes, we can uh, report that uh, last night uh, throughout the city of Johannesburg, uh, we didn't receive any major incidents which were reported of damages or flooding uh, in all seven regions of the city. We only have uh, had a clear trail road uh, that far from the Vida Vida. Uh, it's a way to, as you are driving towards Clay State, where the road was uh, flooded, where also motorists, some of the motorists were trapped. We managed to assist those motorists. Uh, so far, uh, that road is still affected. Uh, motorists, we are still pleading with them to exercise caution while driving. Uh, since we might still be receiving a lot of rain from the gate this morning, we also have our disaster management monitoring teams in most of our low-lying areas, which will be our informal settlement, uh, just monitoring to see whether we might have residents who might need our services uh, uh, this morning. Uh, so we also pleading with them to refrain from crossing river streams since the water levels now are much more higher in most of our uh, river streams. Yeah. So, so Robert, so we, we pretty much so things are cleared this morning, roads are flowing, and as far as you know, there, there haven't been any, any sort of dramatic incidences. Obviously, we did see a lot of cars being stuck on the roads because of the storms. But um, in terms of, of road closures, do we have any? No. And expectations no. for today as well. I imagine there's also warnings of more rain today. Yes, we, we still remain on high alert. Uh, we're still monitoring... Uh, all our seven regions of the city. So we should continue to plead with our motorists to exercise caution while driving, extend the safe following distance, and also try and avoid crossing uh, roads which might be flooded, like which we have with, what we have witnessed last night, uh, the end where motorists were trying to force their way through the areas which were barricaded. So that might be very much dangerous because those vehicles might be uh, swept away if uh, motorists try to take a chance to cross those areas. All right, Robert, let's leave it there. Thanks for, thanks for the check-in and uh, just keeping our viewers updated as you make your way out to work or school or wherever you are going this morning, just to ensure that uh, you do take it safe. Warnings of more rain coming, but it seems that the roads for now are okay.